Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay. Welcome to Inside the Hem where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This month I'm bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing where each day I'm sharing a new garment sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe. No matter what your personal style is or what your budget is, join me as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's dive into today's festive project, which is a really beautiful camisole. So the inspiration for this was me kind of thinking, trying to think of a top that would be quick to sew since we're getting so close to the holidays, but also universally appealing with a lot of the other garments featured in this series. The first thing that came to mind was a classic cowl neck camisole. They <laughs> never go out of style and look so pretty on so many body types. This is biscuit, by the way. And with such little fabric requirements, you can really splurge on the fabric and make something exceptional. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here is our inspo for the day. This is a $340 silk tank from Veronica Beard. It does say silk tank, but hold your horses because it's not actually silk. Well, it is, but it's also blended with viscose and elastane. So it's only half silk um, and it's still $350 for one yard of half silk, wild. But beside that point, I do think it's really beautiful. It has the cowl neck that I think is just so universally universally flattering. This little spaghetti strap we've got. There it is tucked in, nice and clean. Love that look. This is a close-up of the fabric. We're going to talk about that more here in a second. There's the back. It just has adjustable straps. There it is, not on someone's body. I do wish that they showed it to us at least once untucked so we can get an idea of it a little bit better, but um, they didn't. So so yeah, this is our little, this is our inspiration for today. It says, made from silk, the Sola tank top features a draped neckline and a bold print that marries graphic geometrics with a trompe l'oeil. Oh gosh, you French speaking people who always do such a kind, respectful job of correcting me. Please let me know how to pronounce that. Um, the tassels and scroll work pair this silk top with jeans and stilettos for your next night out. I do agree that it's a great one for dressing up, dressing down, um, lots of different ways to wear this. And hopefully some of the other ideas that you got earlier in this series will pair well with this as well. Okay, pattern wise, I chose uh, McCall's, whoops, McCall's 8114. I have an alternate for those of you who think this is a little too much for you. I, I see, I hear you, I get that. Um, but this one is just a bias cut halter. So I love that it's cut on the bias. Even if it's made with a silky fabric, cutting it on bias still universally makes it so much more beautiful in terms of fitting. Um, and then it has back lacing and tie views. So let me show you this. So we've got the cowl neck, we've got a thin strap, not quite as thin as our inspiration. You could probably change that out if you wanted. Um, actually you couldn't because it's the bias binding of the top becomes the strap. So you'd have to rework it a little bit to do that. Um, but it does have this one with this little like peplum thing. Um, and then here's the one most like our inspiration. Here she has it with really low slung jeans. I don't think we'll be wearing it this way. I mean, you definitely could, um, but here's the back, okay? So it goes to a crisscross back and then it laces up the back. And I just thought that was such a fun surprise, especially for like a holiday party, right? Um, you know, you, you take off your jacket, you're dancing, you get hot and all of a sudden you're like, oh, look at that lace up back, you know what I mean? That's what I was picturing in my head anyways. <laughs> um, here are the line drawings. So the peplum version does have this tie back and a halter. You could do this with this without the little skirt on it. You, these are interchangeable. You can do either one. But this one, the long one, it is what it is. Okay, so yardage wise, you don't need a lot. That's what I was trying to explain earlier because these are so like little itty bitty tops, you don't need much fabric. Plan B, and I want you guys to remember yesterday's video, 
this is plan B, okay? So yesterday we talked about a cardigan a lot like this one, not this exact one, believe it or not, because they look so, so, so similar. But this is a pattern that also comes with a little camisole and that cardigan. It also happens to come with a really great pleated trouser. This could be your whole holiday outfit and I think you would look absolutely amazing. Um, here's how they have styled it. You have your silky cami, you have your cardigan, which ours would have all the, t all the tool on it. And then you have your, um, pleated pant that it, they did the cropped length. I would much rather see the longer length for a holiday party personally. Um, but that is also great. I don't know that I would go with those colors necessarily, but that is a really chic pulled together outfit. It's like kind of casual and also kind of dressy at the same time. Like if you have a family thing, but you're all not just sitting around in like jeans and t-shirts, like you have a family actual party, like maybe the neighbors are coming over or something. I think this would be a really fun option, this whole outfit. Doesn't that look stunning though? Oh, I love that. The silhouette is so good. Just, she looks like she has a lot of money. And that's just like my main goal in life is just to look like I'm super rich. <laughs> okay, so this isn't the most flattering. I get that. Again, ours will have the tool. This one might be a little bit longer than what I would recommend for our tool one. Remember, we were kind of somewhere around the high hip for that one. And then the tool ended at the low hip. So, Maybe that would help with it a little bit, maybe, maybe. Um, but then there's the back of the camisole. We don't have the adjustable straps, but you don't need those because you're making this custom. It's supposed to fit your body exactly anyways. And then here's the back of the envelope. Uh, fabric requirement wise, again, for the top, you don't need much. This one goes up to one and one eighth. So even less fabric than the backless one. Okay, so for fabric, remember we don't need a lot, okay? So I want us to go big. I want us to really make something special. And the three or four places I go to when I'm looking for special fabric, especially silk, are mood, fashion fabric, or fabrics and fabrics, Elliot Berman, textiles, and Britex fabrics in California, all right? So I did a search for stretch silk twill on all of these websites and they all have a bunch to choose from. This is the only, this one, this one, and this one are the only stretch silk twills that they have. $35 is not bad for a tank top like that. That's all you would spend. And then you come down here and these solids are just regular silk twills. Yeah, you have like a washed kind, you have um, a little print on that one. Most of the ones from Mood are gonna be solids. Fabrics and Fabrics had a bunch of silk twills in a lot of really, really fun prints. So if you wanted to do something more printed, like our inspiration, um, you can look through these. They are all 100% silk. So find something there that suits your, you know, personal taste and, okay. And then from Elliot Berman Textiles, we have actually a silk and viscose twill blend. This is 53% silk, 35% viscose. And these are all 30% uh, silk, 70% viscose. So way less silk than our inspiration. Um, for, you know, it's still pretty pricey. And I also want to mention the reason why I'm looking at only twills is because of this photo here. Do you guys see the diagonals? That is a twill weave. A hundred percent. There's no doubt in my mind. They don't say it anywhere, but it's a silk twill. Okay. So Elliot Berman was the only one to have silk viscose blend. They do have a lot of fun prints. I really love this one. Can you tell them a seventies girl? I love a paisley. Um, they had all of these. They also had some regular silk twills if you didn't want the viscose. Um, one from Alexander McQueen. How much is this? Oh, that's not bad. $55 a yard. That's kind of sort of in the era, maybe. Maybe I'm. that's probably a reach, but yeah, I don't know. That's not bad. It's kind of cool. And you would do this as the hem, and then this would be your 
bot the top the bodice i don't know i think that's pretty cool anyways you have all of these to choose from okay in the regular silk twill category with no viscose and then lastly there's britex fabrics uh these people are in la so we have some silk twills here the prices of these are way higher and i think because a lot of their stuff is imported that's why it's a little bit more similar to fabrics and fabrics who imports a lot of their silks as well um fabrics and fabrics prices are just are just better i don't think the quality is that much different for what it's worth leopard print is really having a moment still um, and that would look great with the brown cardigan from yesterday as would this chocolate palm but these are these are getting pretty pricey even for me i can justify around 50 dollars for one yard a one yard wonder pattern getting close to a hundred I'd have to just be absolutely obsessed with it like love the fabric so much um, and know that I was going to wear it over and over and over and over and over again like it would just naturally fit into my wardrobe <laughs> anyways you guys look through these find one that you love and make this little one yard wonder camisole to wear with some of the other things that you have been inspired to make this in the series I hope you loved that one. Thanks for joining me for today's festive project. I hope recreating this fun camisole sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be creating another beautiful garment for the holidays. I can't wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion. Happy sewing. Bye. <laughs> bye. Say bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye.